So you can't get blackout working. First of all, don't freak out. I promise I will get you up and running in this video, but it could be many different things, so please pay attention. First, are you running the latest version of Blackout? If you aren't, please update. If you can afford to, sometimes it helps to do a clean install, meaning delete Blackout from your iPad and reinstall it completely fresh. Beware that right now you will lose your projects if you do this, so you need to make sure to export them before deleting the app. Second, are you running the latest version of iOS? iOS constantly changes. Like when they went from iOS 14 to iOS 15, they changed their multicast protocol. We of course had to adapt by changing how we were sending out SACN, which is a multicast protocol. So if you are not on the latest version of iOS, I cannot guarantee Blackout will work correctly. This doesn't mean you have to update immediately when it comes out, but don't be more than a couple months out of date. Next, how are you connected to your lights? Are you using Bluetooth? If you're using Bluetooth and you can't get effects to play, it's because we don't allow them over Bluetooth right now because Bluetooth is a slow protocol and cannot reliably deliver real-time effects. Yes, we need to put a warning when you connect via Bluetooth, that is coming. If you don't see your device listed in the Bluetooth stack, try resetting your Bluetooth device or disabling and re-enabling Bluetooth in iOS. Bluetooth is finicky. You really shouldn't be using this in the professional world of film, except for some very small use cases. Are you using Wi-Fi? If so, are you connected to a DHCP server, which means you are receiving an IP address automatically? If you go into iOS settings, then click into your Wi-Fi network and configure IP is set to automatic, do you see an IP address? If you don't, then you probably don't have a Wi-Fi router in your network, so you need to set your iPad's IP address manually. Please check out this video to understand how to set your IP address. If you are getting an IP address and you are connected to your gateway or light, are you sure you're in the right protocol? We can send SACN or ArtNet from Blackout. You may think your AKS is set to ArtNet, but perhaps it's an SACN. Try flipping the switch in Blackout. If you are in ArtNet and you know your fixture is in ArtNet, there's two things it could be. Number one, is the universe offset. Try putting this to one. Some gateways like Entech default to Artnet Universe one, which is actually Universe two because Artnet counts from zero, whereas SACN counts from one. If that doesn't work, flip it back to zero and try limited broadcast. Some devices like Exilux use limited broadcast, which is not correct per the Artnet specifications because it just spams your network but some manufacturers ignore the guidelines so we can accommodate on the controller side. If you are not getting an IP and have to set it manually, you will probably have to turn on this beta setting we have in blackout settings labeled ignore Wi-Fi status. This is a temporary fix while my developers work on doing this automatically behind the scenes. If you are still not connected, turn off cellular data if your iPad has that. Sometimes Blackout can get confused and try to send out to that network instead of your Wi-Fi or wired network. That's another thing that my developers are working on detecting automatically. Still stuck? When you install Blackout, you get a pop-up asking if Blackout can talk to your LAN network and all of its devices. If you do not accept this, Blackout cannot send out DMX out of the iPad at all because you told it no. It is required by iOS, otherwise we would just accept this by default. If you chose no or don't remember, you need to go into iOS settings and on the left, scroll down to blackout and make sure that LAN connections is on. I guarantee if you do all of these things, blackout will absolutely be sending out DMX. If you are still having issues, it's not blackout. Don't believe me? Connect a computer to the same network as your device. Perhaps it's the AKS, so you just connect your computer to the AKS Wi-Fi while Blackout is connected to the AKS Wi-Fi and run SACN Viewer or ArtNet Viewer depending on what protocol you are using and you will see data in the network. If you don't see this after having done all of the above, you didn't do one of the above steps. Go back through this video and watch it again. I hope that helps.